Hey everyone, I'm Harleen. It's really nice to see you on our channel. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up. I'm gonna watch you until you do that. Cool, now we can start. And in today's video, as you understood from the heading, we are going to review the SSL plugin. But which one? Uh, I don't remember. As far as we are clear on the topic of this video, let's start reviewing this plugin. First of all, let's visit their website. As we can see, WP Force SSL is an amazing WordPress plugin which is based on SSL, Secure Sockets Layer Protocol. This serves to make an encrypted and secure connection. WP Force SSL gets you on the spot results and various features it has help you to save your time, money, and potential customers. It also unites all the tools and options required for SSL configuration. So here are the main features of this plugin. Uh, first of all, it is content scanner. Uh, manually checking each page may be too time consuming, but this tool does it for you and provides you with a full report uh, where you can find all the errors on your website. SSL monitoring. After SSL certificate configuration, you will have to review it and constantly make sure that your website is safe. However, you may forget about that and here is an SSL monitoring feature which comes to help you, remind you and update it regularly. Ease of use is more of a pros and cons thing, but I have to mention that because the dashboard is amazing. We will review it in a few minutes. Uh, premium support. A vast majority of requests and issues are resolved by the developers who worked on this plugin, so the support is really great. Now let's take a look at the dashboard from inside. Basically, we need to purchase this plugin. No worries, it has money-back guarantee. After purchase is made, we will get an email with all the details to start. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it will also provide you with a link where you can click and log into your dashboard. And here is the dashboard itself. In the dashboard, we can review the features such as download the plugin on your WordPress website. It is also very easy to do. You just click on this, it provides you with a zip file which you need then to install on your WordPress website from the backend. Uh, you can review the purchases, licenses, Create new license whenever you need it. Just click on add a new license, choose the license type um, and just click on create and activate the license. Afterward, you will have it with the shortcode which you'd need to copy and paste on your WordPress from the backend. We can also review the SSL monitors, websites uh, to which this plugin is connected. We have our profile, documentation and of course we have support. Uh, as you can see, everything is available over here, but the main work is going to be done through your WordPress website, through admins dashboard, so let's review this plugin from the admins dashboard. When you install the plugin, it is going to be appeared in your settings. Uh, so in the admins dashboard, click on settings and here you will see WP Force SSL, then just click on that. Here, on the status, we, can, we have to paste the license key we created from the other dashboard. I already did that, as you can see, my license is active. You just copy and paste it, there's nothing hard. And you click on save and activate the license. Then we can go to the settings tab, under which we can review many features, which allow us to customize general settings of this plugin. Some of those features are fixing mixed content in front-end and back-end, enabling uh, HSTS, here is the um, description of what is it. Basically, it is a, a strict transport security, is a header sent by your website to your visitor's browser, telling to only use HTTPS to connect to the website. And if someone tries to perform a man-in-the-middle attack and redirect the visitor to their own malicious version of the domain, the browser will refuse to load the website. And that is why this feature is quite important. You can enable it. I am going to enable it. Here are four secure cookies. Cookies are small uh, packages of data and uh, you have to uh, allow your users to know that you are using those. You can enable or disable those. There are other features such as 
301 redirect HTTP to HTTPS, uh, cross the site scripting X content type options, which is basically header, which prevents MINE sniffing, which is used to disguise the content type of malicious files being uploaded to the website. Here is refer policy, expect city, X frame options, and permissions policy. So customize everything you need, read through it carefully, and click on save the changes in the settings. Our next tab is called Content Scanner, which is basically uh, scanning your content on the website, points out mixed content, and helps you to generally improve. Afterward, we can see the tab of SSL certificate where we can review our certificate and see that it is valid at this point of time. If you do not have it yet, just click over here on the button Generate SSL certificate. If you already have a certificate, it will just renew the previous one. Then, under the support tab, you can find answers to frequently asked questions. Let's take a look at some. For example, will VP4 SSL slow down my website? Absolutely not. This plugin do not, does not slow down your website. Can you install an SSL certificate for me? Can I move my uh, license between sites? And every question you are interested in, you can even just pause this video and read those. And on the last tab, you can just track the license and license key. If you want to generate new license key, you will need to visit the plugins dashboard, click on licenses, then add a new license. Here you can choose the license type, see the valid date, and then click on create and activate. By the way, from the vp Force SSL plugin dashboard, you can monitor everything from one place. For example, you created a license key and installed it in one website or more than one, just click on the website tab and you can see on which ones it is installed. This was basically it. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, do not forget to share it with your friends or colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Also, uh, do not forget to check out the description down below where you can find the link to download the WP Force SSL plugin and the link to our blog where you can find many necessary information related to WordPress. See you in the next video. Bye!